Hello again, though if you are new with us, welcome to the Counting Club. This month, our red is a bio beauty from the back of the boot. The boot is Italy, of course, and this red comes from organic vineyards close to the coast in northern Puglia, just below the Gargano Peninsula, which is the spur on the back of the boot. Bio is Italian for organic, as it is in almost every European language except English. Over here, thanks to the efforts of Ariel's marketing department, bio already meant washing powder with enzymes in, so we had to use a different word. This one comes from all-organic, family-run producer Kayafa, and it's their Negro Amaro, named after the grape variety. Negro Amaro is one of the three big Puglian black grapes, along with Primitivo and Nero de Troia. As its name suggests, it's usually quite dark in colour, but not this one. You won't be able to see on the video, but if you tilt your glass at an angle and look through it against a white background, you should be able to see that it's a bit paler than a medium red. It also looks older than it is. This is a 2016, and I would have guessed a couple of years older, but that is absolutely typical of Negro Amaro. It doesn't seem to have any of that youthful purple tinge to it. Oh, wow. Now, the colour may be subtle, but the nose is emphatic. Dried herbs and warm spices. It's immediately appealing. Very fresh, too, with crisp green peppers going on in there. Behind that, sweet, summery red berries. Red currant and raspberry, and a bit of black currant as well. Now, at first, I thought this was totally unoaked, but there are little hints of smoke and coffee in here, which might be down to the three months it's spent in oak barrels. But really distinctive, fresh, herby nose. Lovely. Mm. The palate is very fresh as well, with juicy acidity and very pure, sweet-tasting red berries again. Echoing the nose, there are a few black currants among the red ones here too. Mm. Under the pure red fruits, something a little deeper and riper, perhaps figs. But it's nothing like the full-on dried fruit flavours that this grape variety normally shows. On the finish, those sweet red berries persist, and there's a lovely mouth-watering, refreshing acidity here. And that's helped by the fact that there's almost no tannins at all in here that might dry out the finish, so you really get the full juiciness of it. This would be a great wine to drink on its own, but the lovely acidity means it's very versatile with food as well. On this showing, Negro Amaro is totally misnamed. It means black bitter, and this isn't black, and it certainly isn't bitter. It's one of the least tannic young reds I've had. But that, again, is quite typical of Negro Amaro. It never tastes bitter. It's not a very tannic variety. It is, though, usually pretty dark. But then again, it is also often a bit sun-baked, a bit heavy, flabby, too much alcohol, too little acidity. Kayafa have beautifully avoided that trap here. I think they've picked it a bit early to attain the acidity, and they've been careful not to do too much extraction from the skins. The result may not be very typical of the grape, but it does work beautifully. It's got that very fresh, juicy, food-friendly acidity, and those wonderfully pure, direct fruit flavours. Mm. It's supple, Moorish, and very, very easy to drink. It's also rather good value. So this would make a great house red. Cheers.